Next up is mumpreneur Hazel Reynolds, who enters the den just four months after giving birth to her second child. I've literally just, uh, yeah, just breastfed my baby before I go into the den, so she's she's nice and content, and I've uh, been lucky not to get any baby sick on me, so all good. <laughs> The business is my third baby and being able to combine running your own business with becoming a mum, it's a dream come true. Oh, that's true. Hello, my name's Hazel Reynolds. My company is Gamely and I'm here today offering you 10% equity in exchange for £50,000 and your expertise. Our first game, Randomise, challenges players to act, draw or describe really random identities with often hilarious consequences. We launched Randomise on Kickstarter in October 2015 and we've since gone on to sell more than 40,000 copies of the game. I set up Gamely two and a half years ago, the day before I found out I was pregnant with my first child. Since then, I've grown it from a nugget of an idea into a successful lean business that now employs my husband. I've grown our turnover from £36,000 in year one to £199,000 in year two, while maintaining a gross profit of 40%. And that's just with one game. This year, we're launching two brand new party games, Soundiculous and The Pretender. Going forwards, we plan to launch three new games every year, which will take our portfolio to 15 products within the next five years. Do you fancy a game? <laughs> Yes. yes Excellent. A word perfect pitch from games creator Hazel Reynolds, who's offering a 10% equity share of her business for £50,000. Who would like to have a go at being the performer? Fantastic. Right. So, okay. there's your identity that you're going to be acting out. So. Oh, that's really difficult. Oh, my God. So, and you'd normally have, have I got? a minute to act out. So, we'll see how we go. One word. One word. <laughs> Baby, stroke, uh, a dog, Love. soft, um, gentle, gentle, gentle. <laughs> Second word. grumpy, Ge uh, uh, rocker, gentle rock star. Uh, punk rocker, punk, gentle punk, gentle oh punk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Buying, calculating, counting, um, counting, cashier, purchasing, um, slot um, machine, um, uh, selling, uh, selling, selling, gentle, gentle punk, selling. Selling punk. Drink. Drinking. Bubbles. 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 Blowing. Blow. Straw. Blowing. Sucking. Eat. Lemonade. Yes! Lemonade. Yes! Oh. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh. <laughs> gentle. Gentle punk. punk. A gentle punk selling lemonade. Well um, done. You I did so yeah. well there. Well, I'm magnificent. So impressed with your dedication to no, the acting. No, I'm not. I don't give up. A winning performance from Deborah Meaden. But will Hazel win over Tej Lalvani, who's first with the questions? Well, that was fun. Um, the other games that you've got. Yes. Is it again a similar style or is it different altogether? So the Pretender is uh, got a bit of more st strategy in it, a bit like Wink Murder, but with a lot more to it. Um, in Soundiculous, all you have to do is make the noise of the thing that's on the card. Right, like you've got a picture of a basketball there. What, what sort of sound would you make with that? Okay. Oh, I thought you were actually going to test me then. What? <laughs> yeah, well, do the basketball. Well, what was the basketball? No, no, I know you can do it. Do the basketball. <laughs> da -dum, da -dum. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think, yeah. Maybe, maybe. Well, I don't yeah. know. Um, where do you get your inspiration from? So, uh, this game um, I originally um, came up with to lure my uh, then 12-year-old sister away from her iPad. And the only time she'd really come to life was when we were playing family games. So, came up with Randomise and that was what it was supposed to be, you know, a fun family game to play at Christmas. So, how confident are you about being able to do three games a year for the next five years? That's quite a big ask. Yes, it is, absolutely. So, we've got four really strong ideas for next year mm -hmm. um, and a whole load of other ones that, you know, they're little nuggets of ideas. I don't feel nervous about coming up with the ideas, I feel, yeah, I feel excited. Hazel's proving to be an entrepreneur with ambitious plans, oozing confidence and creativity. But can Deborah Meaden get as excited about her business as she did about playing her game? What does it cost in terms of design and production to actually physically design that product? 
The design cost is about £1,500. OK, so that isn't a massive chunk of, no, of, no, no. of money every time um, we bring yeah, the game so, out. And then manufacturing-wise, for £30,000, we can ma manufacture 18,500 um, of these games, and we only have to sell 4,500 to break even. Hazel, what do you think you're missing from this journey? Because you're, you're, you're doing OK. Thank you. <laughs> um, I think it's the international side of things. So, um, particularly with the US. So, for example, we have real challenges trying to get a pallet of games over to the US. But having a dragon on board would give us a shortcut to that information. You know, you guys know people everywhere, and I'd be, I'd be set up. So, it's really about going international for us. Hazel's ambition for global domination puts her ahead of the game with Jenny Campbell. But is that enough for Peter Jones, who's previously monopolised board game deals in the den? I've invested in a game, I don't know whether you know. <laughs> Accentuate, yes. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah. It's done really well. However, you know, it's not without its challenges. Whilst the business makes money, it's enough to really look after the founders and as an investment, I haven't had a return on the investment. So having been through that experience and, and realising how difficult it is, I want to be really candid and say that as a business, it's something that I don't want to get into bed with again. OK. So I wish you the best of luck, but it's not an investment for me. And I'm going to say that I'm out. A huge blow for the game developer as she loses the dragon with the most experience in her field. Will his lack of confidence prove to be Hazel's downfall as Deborah Meaden prepares to make her next move? Um, I actually... You nearly have me. Um, but I think that you're going to do well, but I don't see that moment of explosion. No, so I, I, you nearly have me. You nearly have so me. So close. Well, thank you for excellent um, But I won't be investing. I'm out. I think this is a business, really, for you and your husband. OK. You're doing OK. You don't need me. So for that reason, um, I'm not going to invest them out. I think you're really good. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, and congratulations on setting up a business and bringing up children at the same time. It's really hard. Um, my concern is moving forward. You know, people with mobile phones and iPads, etc. Why wouldn't you develop an app that you could use anywhere? That was the it's whole a, point. It's a, it's a was game. To get people away from screens. Well, that, no, it's the not. The whole because, point. Because if you're somewhere and you don't have that game with you, you could just pull up the app on oh, your phone God. and you're still interacting with people. That's the point, right? Do you agree with that? Oh, dear. Anyway, um, look, it's interesting, but, you know, at the end of the day, I don't think this is for me. Um, and a lot of it depends on the success of each other game because you've got to keep coming up with new games. And I just that model to me doesn't appeal. So, for that reason, good luck, but I'm out. A further knockback for Hazel as Tej Lalvani becomes the fourth dragon to decline the deal. But it seems that not everyone thinks his exit is necessarily a bad thing. Well, I'm glad he went out because he didn't share your vision in the first place. I remembered you saying, get people out of screens. So, <laughs> um, so, so as I listen to it all, there's lots of pros here with some cons. Yeah. I can hear what Peter said, but I can hear what you're saying about the international and so on. It's not that difficult to get pallets of games over to the US or pallets of anything. He can get pallets of vitamins over to the US. I can get pallets of games over to the US. I don't get that. So, I'm going to make you an offer. I will offer you all of the money for 25%. A shared vision for tech-free family fun at last results in an offer. But it comes at a cost. 
two and a half times the 10% equity Hazel had planned to give away. Will she accept or take a gamble and try to negotiate? Um, would you be willing in the future, um, is, there any, is there any scope for negotiation or is that kind of a final offer? I'm willing to consider a counter-offer. Um, I think the most, the most that we could probably go to would be um, £50,000 for 20%, reducing to 10% once that investment was repaid. My counter-offer is 20%, reducing to 15% if repaid within two years. So while I, while I am a risk taker, and while I know that you need to take risks to succeed in business, probably isn't the right decision for me. I'm really sorry, and I really thank you for... OK, Hazel. In that case, I wish you all the best, and thank I'm you. out. Thanks, Hazel. Good luck. Good luck. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Astonishment from the dragons as Jenny Campbell's quest to invest fails to come up trumps. Mad. Hazel leaves the den empty-handed. That is a complete charade. I like what you did there. I feel like I'm a bit in shock, to be honest. It's all, I'm just sort of taking it all in. Um, Wally Dragon would bring so much. This business is my third baby, and I I'm not ready to give so much of it away. I've got a new game. Words fail me. That was an amazing offer, and I think she's going to live to regret that.